And we're live. Hey, what's up, people? And so, uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to Anime Super you. Chat <laughs> on every Thursday night. Uh, so, let's see who's in chat so far. I mean, I know that Cat was the first one in there. Yeah, true. Most she, likely. She Kat, got that first comment. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Cat. Yeah, and then, um, so. Who else was well, in there? Who else is in there? I don't oh, know. Sure. How do I don't know. I, I don't have anything. Uh, JJ Swagger King. 007. Okay, I like the name. I like the name. And Robert Luera so far. And Anna. Hey, Anna. Oh, hey. Well, do people know who we are? Or just, I'm, I I'm assuming they know who we are if they're coming to watch us, right? Well, anyway, <laughs> holla at you, boy. It's the Gap Tooth Warrior, a.k.a. Battlestar Galactica. You guys know me as Daniel. Holla at you, boy. Come on. Nice, and bro. the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend. The J-E-R-N-I. Mm. The journey. Come on, guys. <laughs> take a journey. Take a trip, ladies. Yeah. All right. And, <laughs> and this is Anime Super Chaz. Make sure you guys hit that like button so we can, you know, it helps the video out. Get some new people in that chat. Even though I love all of you, well, get some fresh faces. Yeah, you know. Making new friends. Share it with your friends. Hey, everybody likes anime, but yet nobody wants to really talk about it. Why not? I say let's do it right now. Share it with your friends. In fact, if every one of you shares it with at least two friends, you'll see how huge this group can become. It'll yeah. be a really good conversation. Yeah, let's, bring, let's bring back the Church of Ernie. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, because, because I mean, tonight, right after this, we oh. have oh, it our DC show coming up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. We will. We'll talk about that later. But uh, also, somebody else on the chat that we always see is, let me see if I can get this right again. Uh, Ryan Super Zero Four Steel Thomas. In one try. In one try. One try. Ah, That's what makes it beautiful. I love his handles. (laughs) Absolutely love his handles. So today's episode, since, you know, Daryl's gone and, you know, Daniel's subbing. And and mostly we're kind of, I'm kind of writing on what you, because I had no idea Daniel liked anime. (laughs) I like, he started coasting a little bit on the ones that I would talk about. But I didn't know you were so knowledgeable. Dude, no, no. I'm only knowledgeable because I'm cramming and learning more as you're like, okay, hey, maybe you want to see this. Maybe you want to watch this. Ernie will talk and mention (laughs) things and I listen. I do. I listen and I'll take notes. Like fuck! I was I was surprised when you watched uh, Ajin, and I was, <laughs> oh, like, I, was like, I was like, you watched Ajin? And I was like, Dude, it's on Netflix. Oh my god! I walked in. You were doing the whole. Uh, you were doing the review then. Your first review. He still hates my, it. I hate he it. He hates I it. I love it. it because it sold me on it. And then after that, forget about it. I was there and I loved it. I wanted it. I needed it, and I couldn't stop watching. Yeah. And then what? Gantz Zero. I mean, I just started going back into stuff, seeing old stuff, remembering stuff I watched before. I I can't get enough of it. Right now, anime is fucking dope. It's amazing. <laughs> and one of the genres we're going to talk about tonight is survival anime. Yes! Which is something that he's been wanting to talk about. It's so yes. intense. And I was like, hey, let's make a game out of this. Yes. Let's, let, since it's a survival anime, let's talk about the, the best ones that we've heard and seen. And let's give our input on how we would survive yeah. that situation. And me, specifically, I'm looking... Because there's a lot when you think about survival anime. Because there's, there's the whole idea of prison survival anime oh, right. then there's survival game anime which is more i'm focusing yeah, and on there's mostly. a lot of those coming out recently yeah definitely like, like it's kind of like a la battle royal you know yeah. like that's that's pretty much it where you have to survive and you must be the last one standing so it's just like battle royale and that's what i am digging a yeah. lot of when it comes to that kind of anime yeah. that's the shit yeah, that's so shit. I'm so so this week I've been stuck still watching Fairy Tale because that's taking forever. I've also been trying to catch up on DC shows, Ooh. so I'm feeling a little behind on new anime. But you, you've been cramming for this. I've been episode. cramming, but I cram with stuff that I know you've already seen or you heard of and you've already talked about yeah. before. So it was yeah. like it wasn't too bad. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> so tell me which survival anime you have seen this week. Okay. Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Okay, I have to look because I don't want to say I'm wrong. Uh, oh, <laughs> Dead Man Wonderland. Um, I also did Batum, right. <laughs> and uh, I did Fate Zero, which you know came from Fate's Day, and blah blah blah. But I really didn't care too much for it. And uh, is it? M- 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 okay, Mirai Nikki. There and, you go. And uh, but translation, <laughs> translation, <for Jedi. laughs> that one. Awesome. Of that course. was one of my hands down favorites. Those are the ones I watched. And like I, you know, I watched, I wrote a little small reviews, notes for myself about it. But like, man, 
I fell into a K-hole of, like, survival anime, and there is so much. And then you get into other ones, like, of course, everyone else knows, uh, uh, Attack on Titan. Attack on you Titan. You still yeah. call that one. Um, there, there's a few. All right. There uh, are a lot of them. Let's, let's start off with, I have not watched Danganronpa yet, but it has some mm. extremely memorable like characters, especially this one girl with ponytails that everybody loves. Yeah, and yeah, I've okay, seen some right. cosplays, and oh my god, it's the sexiest, Ooh. cutest cosplay around. Ooh. And uh, there's fan service. In and it. this <laughs> this anime came originally from a video game. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you watched it. I haven't watched it yet. Tell us about Danganronpa. Well, it's also connected to uh, Assassination Classroom or whatever that thing is. No, wait. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. By the uh, the either the production company or the uh, the creator of it also got attached to that. To that, a lot of people don't know that. Right. Have you ever pay attention to the art style as far as how it moves and everything like that? How they do an integration of three D and two D and okay. they use it in particular ways. It really comes from there. One first off thing I have to point out about it, which is the music. Now, throughout the episode, the music isn't good. It's kind of meh. It's it's mediocre. No, but wait, wait. oh yeah. Hi, Daryl! Oh my God, Daryl! We miss you. Oh, I was in. Please. I was in YCC. Oh my God! Please, I was in YCC. Please, tell us. Tell us. Why? How? How? how Get out of my yeah. chat. <laughs> I miss you, Daryl. Seriously, I can't wait till you get dude. back. Really, really. Right. Oh. Sorry, continue. But oh, okay. Oh, so, but uh, concerning the music, um, the intro song yes. as well as the outro song, both songs I think you would love. Metal. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty oh. good. Baby pretty metal. Good. I wish there was, oh, there, a, I wish there, there was an anime with baby metal, but some for some reason they won't put baby. Licensing metal on. actually, they take off so much. I read, yeah. I read that. I looked yeah. up about it because yeah. I thought about it. and I was like, what would Ernie love to hear? That's what I could love hearing. to see. And they said it's yeah. licensing. They said yeah. apparently baby metal isn't the one that would actually. The band themselves aren't saying they would uh, charge too much, yeah. but it's publishing. And publishing mm. says give us so much. For their stuff. Drama. That's ridiculous. That's so nice. it's like, yeah. and they would love apparently to be on uh, animes. They had a list of what they said. Bands that pull they love. when that happens. Yeah, they said animes that they love, that they would love to be on, but they can't. That sounds awesome. And I was like, ooh, okay. mm. I watched it on, it was a YouTube thing. <laughs> but uh, they, they got too big for their own doing. Pretty much. So, uh, okay. The way this, uh, the way it works, they go to this, um, uh, Dangaropa is pretty much you're following. I forgot the main character's name, but you go there. There's a school that mm -hmm. it's like an academy, an old grade, and they all want to go there. Mm -hmm. And you don't know that it's like some murdering academy at first. And uh, <laughs> so they're all these students, and they're really great in these different subjects or whatever. And they all end up going to this school. And so they're all here in the school. It's about 15 students at first. And um, <laughs> the, oh, okay, all right, all right. So, 15 students at first, and they're all showing up, and they're all, you know, excited to be here in school. I'm so glad I got picked. Ah. Picked to go to the school. Ultimately, while they're there at the school, there's a dean. A dean that you run, run into. The dean is a freaking stuffed teddy bear. Ooh. It's kind of like... Oh, the, the black and white stuff. one, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. The black that's and right. white one. Voiced... Um, Oh, I gotta say, voicing on it was good. Watch as the far as dub. dub. Oh, dub. Oh, and this is one that I'm telling you, you need to watch the dub. But even if you watch the sub, the voice that they chose for it there was also good. It's really good as far as the voice, the voice work on it. It's really good. Daryl, you should be on that. I don't care. They need <laughs> to put it back out just so we can have Daryl on it. That's how good it is. But so the premise is. Um, he tells them, okay, well, you notice the school is different from others. Some of you have already noticed that all the windows and doors are wired shut. Bulletproof glass, blah, blah, yada, yada. Once you guys came in, everything closed and you guys couldn't get out. There's a reason for it. Because you're all here. It's 15 of you. By the end of this, I want only one of you. And the way it's going to work, you guys are going to kill each other. But here is the, here's, here's the gag right here. <laughs> so here's, here's the gag. Um. Every time you kill someone, you have to do it in a way where, one, you can't get caught. Okay. Two, there's going to be a trial after that person, uh, after someone's found murdered, where what? all the students get to try to figure out who killed this person and how and with what. Like, clue. So it's really dope. It's like a dark clue. And they try to figure out exactly how it happened, who did it, and all that. And if they vote, in, as a jury, they vote and they're wrong, they get punished as far as um, not, not the person, but the, the team that, well, everyone else 
that said, oh, okay, you know, we accuse this person and they were wrong, they get punished. And punishment is death. Yeah. And the punishment <laughs> is, but it's, it's like, it's a themed type of death and it is so good. The punishment scenes are gory, they're bloody. Oh, there's, it's so good. But the thing is, they're kind of creative with the way they do blood. They don't put out blood in red. It's, it looks like a kind of black. gel. No, it's oh, not black. Really? It's like, it looks like a gel almost purple fuchsia kind of way. It's yeah. weird. Okay. And that kind of takes away from me well, when it comes to anime. Well, the thing is, certain, the certain animes have that where they can't show yeah. blood. And like, if you notice, a lot of them, it, it comes out black. Yeah. And it's just yeah. black ink. Yeah. And I mean, it's kind of like the whole censorship kind of thing. But, exactly. Uh, kind, of, kind of like Japanese porn is my all freaking, mosaic. It, yeah. I, no, God. It's, just, it's just the type of like censoring. Right. I thought this whole time, I thought that's how their junk looked. Like, blocks. Like little toadstools? Uh, yeah, like they're, they're junk with like little blocks, like do -do 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 -do, uh, pixelated. You never seen an Asian guy's cock before? No, I have. We no. just steer the conversation into a whole nother. Sorry, okay. guys. Sorry. Uh, and this sorry. time it wasn't me. <laughs> Wait, I, I think it was me. It was me. But I'm sorry. My thing, my thing I, I even wrote it in the notes like the blood and violence, it, yeah. it's creatively censored by changing the color, you know, almost resembles like a little bit of cotton candy. Mm. But which I feel that's not a need in anime, especially in the survival anime. I want to see that blood. For God's sake, show me the freaking blood. I want it there. Usually, there's, I don't there's something want satisfying it. about but it. Yeah, it is. It was like satisfying. now it just seems very kiddish. Oh, it's so cute and blah blah. But I don't know. It it kind of takes away from the consequences of what happened mm -hmm. in that way when you kind of fan when you turn into more of a fantasy kind of thing. But whatever. What can I say about that? But so also with the whole trial, if. You, yeah, if they guess wrong, they get punished, and it's a great scene when people get punished. But if they guess right and you were caught, um, then you get punished. And um, then when you get punished, too, it's a, it's a great scene. Like I said, they mix the 3D, 3D with uh, hand-drawn animation in a way where it just it melds so well. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, I mean, um, good variety it. of characters. Uh, mystery and more mystery. Like I said, it's a demented clue. <laughs> so I'm fucking in for it. Um, I said I, 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 uh, I went really into breaking it down for some things, but I'll, I'll leave it just with that, where it's like it's, it's pretty much a clue um, with assassination classroom or whatever that is. Um, and mm, that would be it. Okay. The, well, those two mixed. It's great. So, so it's from great. here, from hearing what uh, how you explain Don Europa, mm -hmm. the way I feel like it, it's like a combination between two things that I've read, and also well, one of them actually turned into a movie. Mm -hmm. it sounds like a combination of uh, Battle Royale, mm -hmm. and another one that I've been wanting to tell you about. Mm -hmm. It's called Doubt. Oh, okay, now, okay, now, okay. Read, okay. Now, right. so so right. both Doubt and Battle Royale came from mangas. And uh, Battle Royale actually became a live action movie, which is absolutely amazing. Basically, they um, Japan is suffering uh, overpopulation, so the way they're trying to solve this is something called Battle Royale. It's kind of like Hunger Games. A lot of people say Hunger Games was a ripoff of Battle Royale, yes, which it is. we don't want to get there. We don't want to go there. I mean, it turns into, yeah, just like how it. Lion King was ripped off by that other one. Oh, yeah, we don't want to get into true. that. You know what? They're two, they're, whoa, they're two whoa, great whoa, down, pieces of work. You don't want the Disney people coming after you, man. I'm, I'm just saying, the mouse, the mouse is dangerous. He has power. He also owns Joe Soul, apparently. That's, that's, <laughs> apparently. That's, that's the thing. It happened. So watch out. It happened in Orlando. <laughs> yeah. So, Battle Royale. So, what did something the, to So, the way that they uh, handle overpopulation is that uh, high schoolers, they get uh, moved into this uh, arena. Yep. And every single student has to fight for their life. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're given a backpack before they start. And that either has weapons, survival gear, but basically they're stuck there and they got to fight each other mm. and kill each other. And then the last person standing wins and gets to live. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. It, it's and good. It, and ba basically imagine like your high school, like homeroom, oh. all those people in that class, like 30 people, 20, 25 to 30 people, you guys get carted off, mm. thrown into this like zone and be like, kill each other. Yeah. Your best friend, your girlfriend. It's like everybody in this class, and you're forced to because there's no way out. You try to escape, oh. they shoot you. And I think they also had a thing where it's like uh, the longer like longer you last, they start killing people. Yep, yep. Just like Hunger Games. Just like Hunger Games. I'm telling you, Hunger Games, it's very similar. 
very similar, but they stra- battle, they yeah. strayed off into this whole another yeah, sc- backstory. It was, well, a whole political yeah. thing about well, because that was a question when you're watching Battle Royale, you're like, wait, if these kids are going through all that. Why doesn't anyone try to just stop the government regime? So that's where Hunger Games changed and yeah. did their thing, which I get it, I get it. It's fine, you know. Yeah. It was it's back. It's good. Yeah. And then there's doubt. Now, okay, now tell I, me about I haven't read through all of Doubt. My brother suggested it, and like he said, dude, you have to just look at the co- cover. And the cover is bloody, dirty up teenagers with a big, furry, like, like, like rabbit's head. So imagine like the rabbit's head from uh, Donnie Darko, mm-hmm. just not so sadistically demon looking, but just like weird and but stuffed. Plush? Over, yeah, plush over their head. So it kind of it, sounds like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, mm-hmm. freaking Afro Samurai, the second one where he has the teddy bear. Kind of The like other that. dude has the teddy bear. Kind of like that, but it's a rabbit. So uh, from what I read is that this uh, is all based off of a, a phone game. Well, in the, in the story, it was all based off of a phone game, which is supposed to be like Mafia, okay. where basically everybody gets the app, plays this game, and everybody is a rabbit, and it's like you're a little colony. Now, when the ground starts, okay. I mean, when the game starts, mm-hmm. one person is chosen in random to be the wolf. Now, mm-hmm. enough, it all started off just as a phone game. So the person who's a wolf has to, every round, kill some, like, start trying to kill somebody. Okay, yeah. While the rabbits are trying to find out who was the wolf among them. Ooh. Now, this all started as just a phone game, but when the main character and his group of friends uh, went out, they end up getting kidnapped, thrown into a warehouse, shut in this warehouse, and then they are all told, you're playing a real game here. You are I just all, all the way back. I'm you are so all rabbits. Right it's like you are all rabbits, and there's a wolf among you. And this person's gonna kill you, one of you guys if you don't like catch him. What's it's it just like mafia. Sheep? It's just you like said, mafia. So it's a sheep. You know, she, wolf in sheep's clothing. You yeah, know, yeah, but the thing is, sheep, like rabbits, sheep don't it. look as scary as these rabbit heads. I, I get it. I get it. Like, yeah. That's where I was like, yeah. Ooh. But yeah, so it sounds like Dangaropa sounds like a combination of those two things. Actually, it does. Ah. It does. I just, I, but uh, with Dangaropa, I will say one thing that they really did well was the mystery. Like, I love, you don't get to see uh, a survival manga, well, with dialogue in the way that they do it, where they give you so much dialogue during, during the court scenes. And they're really dope because all they're doing is remembering what happened. Oh, when so and so was in here, and then I, I had to, I went for a rewatch of the whole, the whole thing because there were yeah. Easter eggs where you could have actually figured out who it was. And I guessed wrong every time the first time. <laughs> the first time I was like, oh no, no, they're wrong. It's that guy. Nope. Fucking wrong. It was this guy instead, or that guy, that guy. And then when you watch it again, you get to see the Easter eggs that really pointed towards it, and you were like, fuck. But you wouldn't have gotten it unless you actually watched the whole thing. It was so good. Yeah. It was so good. I'm telling you, guys, it's one of my big recommendations, yeah. at least for this yeah. show tonight. I tell you, watch it. You will love it. If you have a VR, the VRV, VRV. Uh, it's on there right now, and then you can pirate it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You do what you want, but that, just, hey, just, whatever, just go watch it. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I, I and, loved it so much. And yeah. my, my, my yeah. daughter loved it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And you if know, you get a chance, go watch and, the live action movie, yep. the, the, the for Battle Royale. And if you can, read Doubt. But also talking about phone games, that reminds me of another uh, anime that you must have liked and you must have watched, okay. which is uh, Mirai Nikki. Woo! Future Diaries. Okay, all right. This one is <coughs> a nail bite. So, so did you when you when you saw it? Did you have your elevator pitch? In your head, where somebody was like, "All right, so what I've got here is essentially." Let me see. I think I had it written down. Oh my freedom. Oh man! Oh, 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 oh. Before we uh, jump into this, I completely forgot. Okay. If you were in Dongaropa, how would you survive? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's our how thing. You, how are you going to survive? If I was in Dongaropa, how would I survive? Okay. One, I've got to make sure that I can't get killed. Oh yeah, because you get to lock the doors at night when you go to sleep. But the thing is, it's like, and the guys can't go into the women's stuff, and the women can't go into the men's like restrooms and showers and all that stuff. Oh. And you get to lock your door. But the thing is, it's like you can give someone a key, and you can trust them or not. Tr- There's so much. But um, one, uh, during the day. I'd be out in room with everyone else as much as possible in the group common rooms because remember, if you're seen killing someone, 
then automatically you've lost and you get punished and you die. So Damn. no one's going to want to kill me in public if I'm hanging around everyone. So I would hang around everyone all day. And then at night, I'm going up to my room and I'm locking, uh, you know, I'm staying in and locking the door. And, you know, hopefully somebody else would just be sloppy and end up getting murdered and that's perfectly fine. And then we all work to figure out exactly who did it. That's it. Well, that's what I would do. Until okay. finally you get down to like three of us. And then, you know, hey, we're not all in the same room at the same time. Oh, somebody's getting killed. Somebody's <laughs> getting, I'm telling you, I would sum straight up murder someone. Hashtag S-U-M. Sum. Straight up murder somebody. Dead, dead, <laughs> dead. You're fucking dead. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's right. what I would try to do. Right. That, okay, that that sounds that sounds that sounds like a good plan. A okay, good right. good. So, and yeah, yeah, and we're not gonna talk about battle royale because that's they basically just kill everybody. Shit. Well, I would then die just kill everybody. Just I would kill die everybody. in battle royale because I'm that's, completely out of shape. Trying to run after a bit, I'm like, well, all right, that's it. You either you die or you kill everybody. That that's that's no real good tactic. No, not at all. Now, not at all. Now, Mirai Nikki though. Ah, uh, now Mirai Nikki. Future, future diaries. Okay, so like I said, it's it's a mix of. It's a mix of action, romance, fantasy, drama, comedy, and suspense. Yeah. And they do it in a good way. At the core of it, weird enough, it's it's a love story. It's a love story. But it's a love it, story. It, it, if you ever and you wouldn't expect it. Yeah. Like <laughs> have you ever heard the the, the, the terms like uh sundere, yandere? No, no. So, so, you told so me. she, okay. all right. So she is the, the the main character girl with the pink hair. She is the definition of a yandere. Okay. Now, which, what is that? So a person who has a best way to explain it is a sadistic love. Okay. Where okay. it's like you love somebody so much and so extremely that like you would kill for them. Mm. You would kill anybody who would hurt them or try to be with them. And right. if you can't be with them, shit, you'll kill them and then just still love them afterwards. Jeez. Because you love them that much. It's a sadistic See, love. But the thing is, my and thing, it's, yeah, it's, my thing was this is the thing I hated. The main male character to me, uh, a bitch. He's a and, bitch. Uh, He's a and the female main character was a badass. She's a badass. She was. A, she, she was a badass bitch. But, and he was just a bitch. That's how it was. There's reasons. There's reasons why they both are the way they are. Well, especially just like you said, her. Use those phrases. That kind yeah. of explains why they were. They were. Well, not exactly because she didn't start off that way. No. Oh yeah, she does develop into that. That's true. Oh my god! And the twist when you see the development of the characters in this anime. Fuck! They they are so <laughs> good. Oh my god! You it's know, so good. You know, there's a if you actually read the manga, there's a. There's a re future diaries or something like that. Uh -huh. Basically, it's the story of her past, her first really? round, her first round. Oh no way! There's a story of her first. Okay, round. now I said I was thinking about this like the elevator pitch. The way I wrote it was pitch it to okay. me. All right. How would you want so, me to make? You want me to make an anime? I want you tell to make me, an anime. Tell me about this okay, anime. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. All right, you, you know animes already. So yes. I'm gonna kind of give you some okay. stuff. Imagine Death Note. Okay. Uh, Welly Magi, Ma Magi, Ma Magi. 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 Okay. So imagine Death Note, Magi, um, Dead Man Wonderland, Ooh. and Looper. Put all of that together. Ooh. Put it in a blender. Add more of a love story to it. Congratulations. This is what you have, and this is what I want to sell to you. This is what I want you to watch. There you go. Okay. That's I'm my elevator pitch. I'm a, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's my elevator pitch. But what is it about? Well, it's a love story all the way automatically in the beginning, but what it is, uh, okay, so there's a, um, a, a kind of like a, a cosmic being, a god. There's he's a god of time and space. He's and he's the biggest Ex, god. His name is Deus Ex Machina, and, uh, which is <laughs> very poignant. Yeah. Uh, but so <laughs> apparently what he does, um, he finds our main protagonist, uh, Yuki. And Yuki uses, uh, like, Yuki's the kind of guy that writes notes and everything like that. And what he does when he writes like notes and, and marks stuff down all the time, all he ever does, um, Deus Machina loves that. Yeah. And pays attention to him and says, hmm, great. Because what he's looking for is a successor. He's apparently getting old, tired, he's, he's gonna die. He for, like, he's, tired, a, right? he's a god who is about to come to the end of his life. Well, exactly. not really. Well, not really. He could have kept living, but no, he's but just he chooses, done. right? He he's chooses to uh, he, he, like, not it's exist. It's time for him to move on. Yeah. And like he, but the thing is, his position needs to be filled. Exactly. He's like the death god of time, and just he. It's time for him to move on, and he needs somebody's success. Yeah. So but he, looks he for needs 11, a specific trait to be. He looks for eleven him. people. Like uh, it was, it was eleven people, right, or twelve in total? It's been a while. I think, I think it's, it was I think, it's, I think it was twelve or thirteen. Yeah. 
it, he picks those people um, from different points of the world, and they all have particular traits, but they all kind of do the same thing like Yuki, where they kind of, they notate what's going on in lives they, and everything they like that. They were some type of writer. They were excessively taking notes in some way or fashion, either because of work, or because they were writing a diary, or just for any other reason, they were writers. They constantly took notes of their life. Exactly. So, he happens to see them and says, well, great. I'm going to have all of these people get together, and I'm going to give each one of them future diaries of another person. So there's 11 or 12 or 13, whatever of them. He takes all 13 of them, and he says, like, for example, it's me and Ernie. He says, all right, I'm going to take Ernie's, and I'm going to give Ernie's uh, diary to Sarah. And I'm going to take Sarah's diary and give it to Daniel. And then I'm going to take so-and-so's diary and give it. And wasn't the whole thing, they read other people's future diaries. And by doing so, they were able to kind of, well, because that's what I remember watching. And it was like, predict the moves and see. I, no, no. I, rem right? no, I remember that each person's diary, which is mostly, they were all on their phones. Okay. All the diaries were all on right. their phones. Um, each person's specific diary had told a, was had a special power. Well, not, not exactly well, power. Told a specific thing. So, for example, thing, the main character, Yuki, uh -huh. his diary told the future, but only a few seconds yeah. into the future. Right. So, basically, he, he the way it was written, it's like he was reading his entry that he was going to write, like, 15 minutes later. Yeah. While th his girlfriend, uh, whatever her name yeah, is, yeah. Sh her diary only said what he was doing at that time. Oh, and every really? other person had a different diary that told them a specific thing. Okay. Somebody, like somebody's, I think, only like mentioned how somebody was gonna die. Yeah. And then, and that was his way of trying to figure out. One of them was a detective. Yeah. And he was oh, trying to. He, oh he, he wasn't even trying to win the game because basically the goal was for yeah. all of them to kill each other, and right. the last person that's alive would be the person that becomes the god. Yeah. And so there was one detective who did not want to be part of the game. He wanted to actually stop everybody from yeah, killing each other. That's right. And his diary was the detective diary, which mm -hmm. told them how somebody was going to die. And he used those clues to figure to out figure and out, stop yeah, the murder. That's right. That's and everybody's right. diary had a specific trait of that's how it, it worked. Was. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't and, and somehow it told the future or the present or the past. Yeah, and so and each it person them to yeah. predict kind of moves and, and, things and find a way out. to kill somebody. Exactly, that's what it was. And, and the thing is, the main character and uh, his girlfriend—they were the perfect combination mm -hmm. because he can tell the future, and she can tell everything that would happen to him. Mm. So he had the perfect. He had the he had the knight that was protecting him. That's right. And also had two diaries, including hers, that was going to protect him in every way because. He will read the diary and be like, oh, this is going to happen to me in 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. How is this going to happen to me? Well, it says that it's somebody like, yeah, so yeah. it says somebody is near me oh right now. God, okay, right. then this is what's going to happen. That's and right. Just, like, it's so twisted and amazing. So uh, it's kind of like it reminds you of oh, Death Note, oh, how he would it write does. something. It does. And like, it'd be like, this is how I want a person to die in mm -hmm. this way. And like, it, they will show the, oh, how the workings of how it exactly works. exactly it. And okay, like, it's so, so intense. Who was your favorite character if you had to pick one for it? Dude, it has to be. I will it has say, to be. Yeah, why can I not remember? Okay, I the man, the girlfriend. Oh, okay. Why? Okay. Be, well, I don't want to ruin okay. the story, okay. but she has, like, she went through a lot. What about the, the, she the went couple? A lot. What about the couple? They were, like, number seven, I think. Um, the couple. The couple was good. I, I love their whole dynamic and their kind of connection and everything. I, I forgot but what their, 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 their diary did. They're, they're the big thing concerning what their diary did and why they were a couple that had one diary. And it's, yeah. I don't want to ruin everything. We're going to give you some info, but we're not going to give you everything. You guys got to watch. What we trust our excitement. You. Trust it's, me. Just it, trust it. It's a really good mm. anime. Dude. Exposition wise, uh, they didn't leave anything out when it came to people's backstories. They filled us in so much. Yeah, they did kind of focus on some characters more than others at moments, but it was for a reason, and I, I think it was good. Yeah, I think it was a really good and, one. And, and even and even though because even though the the main character and his girlfriend's like relationship was just so twisted, mm -hmm. at the root and the heart of it, it was very. Beautiful. It, it was. Yeah. It was. It was devotion. There were a lot of it was, people there. And like, he didn't want her. Ooh. She was obsessed over him. Ooh. And but you're like, how? How is this gonna happen? How does somebody fall in love? 
Why is she so devoted to him? Oh Why God. is and how is he gonna fall in love with her? And it's such an intense love story on top of all these people trying not to die. Yeah, it's intense. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Now, guess what? You are in this game. You're trying to become God. You have a future diary. How do you survive? What kind of diary do you want to have? Do you want one that tells you the future? Do you want something that tells you the past? Do you want something that tells you the present? Or do you want something, a diary that tells you about another person? I want a future diary. Um, future because diary. the thing is, if I got something that told me about a person, once I killed that person or once that person is dead, what happens now? Great, I have a diary that has nothing else in it. If I have something that tells me about the past, okay, I happen to know history about somebody and how they think, but that doesn't really help me as far as what they may do because now the situation has changed for who they are and their past. Like, you know, like we said, even for the characters, uh, the switch of the character yeah. was kind of interesting, and it was because of what they've been through. And the thing is, okay, great, I can know that, but the current present, what am I going to do with that? I can't do anything that's really going to help me with the past. So, I want to know the future. This way I can know who you've become, or who you will become. And then I can worry about that, figure out how to stave that away, and figure out, you know, your sleeping patterns and kill you in your sleep. Yeah, I'm dark, and I want to win. But I would probably die. <laughs> I'm just saying, in this, that situation, somebody else will most likely get the future one. I ended up having yeah. the detective one, and fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's really hard, because the, the, the groups that were doing the best were the ones that were working in teams. Yep. But that's the thing, though. Unless you were the couple that had one diary, and it was both of them, uh, you're going to have to work with somebody else who has a diary, and guess what? Eventually, you have exactly. to kill each other. Because exactly. the thing is, it's like... You can't just be like, oh, let's all stop playing the game. No, the God told them if nobody succeeds, then you all die. You all die. And then I'll get a whole new group of people and try this again. I need a successor. Jeez. Jeez. So it's like, and honestly, the, the, the one that tells the future is probably the best one. Mm. Although I would argue that the, the detective one might be also good. Now tell me why. Because I was going to ask, what would you choose? So tell me why the detective one. Well... Because one, I mean, it could also uh, tell you your death. So in a way, because mm. honestly, this game is Damn about it. this game is about <laughs> this game is about murder, right? It is about murder. Honestly, you don't want to know that you're going to, I don't know, get mail in like ten minutes from mm. now. Okay. Or like right. someone's gonna show up at your door ten minutes from sure. now when you have somebody trying to kill you. You're mm. too busy tripping out on the fact that you need to protect yourself. And honestly, it's like in this game where it's like you have to kill people. It's, 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 an, it's an actual thing. So the detective one is the best way to do it. Because one, if, if someone's about to kill you, it's going to pop up in the diary. Right. And then I can make precautionary steps to avoid it. Now, at the same time, this diary is telling you about other murders. So now if there's two other contestants about to go at it, okay. you know of what's about to happen. Ooh. So you can set up a trap so once one kills the other, you, you kill, kill that the other one. Ooh. Because you gotta kill somebody. Okay. You 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 have to win or you are gonna die. Look at the brains on Ernie over <laughs> here. This guy's a fucking It's murderer. a game about murder. It's like you gotta get on right? top of it. I'm you gotta get on top of it. It's, I love this. It's like we got a studio audience. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, we have people watching us while we're shooting it, and they're like, damn, okay, that made sense. See, I'm telling you. Yeah. What, what's happening in the chat right now? Oh, like, we got we got Daryl being our third chair from uh Oh, from yeah. Inside. It's like Daryl hasn't left yet. He's like, that's Daryl. Because he usually wears a red shirt. That's true. Yeah. There you go. He usually wears a red shirt. I noticed that. There you go. And yeah. Daryl's so cool, he flies solo. So a solo cup. <laughs> Bang! 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 That's what I don't miss I about Flashpoint. That's I what puns. I don't miss about Flashpoint. <laughs> I got, puns. Points. I got puns and I got AKAs. I, I said it yesterday. I, I, have, I have more AKAs than a black student. That's right. I got more AKAs than a black student union. I, I hate you. puns. I absolutely <laughs> hate puns. And that's what I don't miss about Flashpoint because all I got was puns for me. Oh, yes. I love them. I I like, oh, like, like, oh, Flash and quick, and quick and all these damn Yeah, I would, say, I would say things that were just stupid. I love that shit. Oh, my God. And then when, and then when we did uh, the, the Dragon Ball one... You're like, what are you saying? 
And I was like, oh, I'm I done. love that. I'm, I kept saying, so, yeah. What are you so excited I, it's, right now? I am done. I was like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm canceling this Dragon Ball show. And it's like, yeah, it went away so quick. So quick. So <laughs> we got Sarah in the chat and also in the studio. We got Daryl. Uh, we got Kat. <laughs> we got Kat. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> they're just they're just having fun, but yeah, it's the Future Diaries has got to be hands down one of the most intense survival animes Definitely. I've ever seen. And I swear, when I watched it, it like the ending really like left a gap in my heart, and I was like, I need to understand because the thing is, you know, it explains it really well, mm -hmm. like in the ending of what happened. But the thing is, you need to know. It's like. It's like watching Lord of the Rings and then knowing that there's a, there's the Hobbit and yeah. then, and then you want to read the Hobbit because you want to understand how did it lead up to this huge epic disaster adventure Ugh. thing. It's like it's it left I, and then that's why I found out that there was a prequel manga to it yep. that explained it and you know it it completely fulfilled. Well, you it. just told me I was just like oh my god this is it yeah. this is it I, I was lost. No. We, so we figured out what's going on with that. We talked about it. Moving from it, can we talk about another one? All right. One that I wasn't That's... too crazy about, but still, uh, and uh, you know, I'm not even going to talk about Fate Stay Zero. Fuck it, it's gone. It didn't happen. It didn't <laughs> no, happen. we're not talking uh, about Fate Stay. We'll Batum. save that for we'll save that for Daryl to tell yeah, people in the exactly. chat. Exactly. Batum. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Batum. So Batum, I want to say it's like a combination between uh, Gaunt, which I've talked about before, yes. and Sword Art Online. Yes. Because it's, it. it's a it video, off, it's a video, video game, game survival. That's thing. right. That's right. Now tell us the synopsis. Uh, what's the story about? Okay, so pretty much as a kid that plays video games, that's how it starts off. For the first five minutes, like five or ten minutes, he's playing a video game. You're kind of seeing it like a first, ooh, first person shooter. Super what? Chat. Derek Super in the chat. house. What did he say? Uh, sup, cool cats? Check out Kiss Anime as a free backup streaming service with tons of anime we can't talk about. It. It's nice. Now, if nice. Daryl was here, he would be so... Wait, he's in the chat. He's probably going to say something right now. He's trying to get you guys to read something he's been saying for like five minutes. So oh, see? That's sorry. why I asked. What was in the chat? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I can't use my phone because my phone's about to die. So yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah. The thing is, Kiss Anime, it, it, it's... I'll, I, that's, okay, you know what? I'm going to get in trouble for this. Daryl gets mad about this. Okay. But uh, Kiss Anime is a free streaming site and has all the anime you could possibly get, but it's illegal... And like the thing is, whenever you watch it through there, it does not support the original creators. It's completely the hell was that? <laughs> but soy sauce, boss. Soy sauce, of course. We're talking so, about anime. Soy sauce gets sauce. So the thing is, <laughs> yes, go to Kiss Anime, go watch your stuff, but don't tell people. Carol wants yeah. you to read real accounts. It's like watching. What's the read? What? Real accounts. Real, real account. account. What does real account say? I don't know. Let me see. You said Daryl read it. Yeah, look, there you go. Daryl's talking about like how it kills the anime industry. Honestly, oh. all I watch is stuff on Kiss Anime. I do support VRV and I do pay for it, and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I do watch as much stuff as they're on there. But the thing is, there's some anime that are just not on any streaming site, right? And I have to go to uh, Kiss Anime. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I mean, that's how it was yeah. with me with uh, um, what uh, just on like what's on Black Mirror. Before it hit Netflix, I told everybody about it, but it was British and it was hard to get it, so I had to, I had to pirate it. And yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, and then pretty much, and ultimately, you know. When they came knocking at my door and they were going to arrest me, all of a sudden they were like, hey, it's on Netflix. So it didn't count anymore. So it didn't matter. Uh, but Batum. Batum, uh, essentially, uh, a gamer's playing a game uh, and he loves it. It's like a first person shooter. And you have, you're have kind of like surviving on this island and you have to blow people up, essentially, to survive. And um, when you shoot and kill them <laughs> on the game, when you kill them, they have like these little crystals that you have to collect. And as you collect them, you gain more life. And ultimately, you want to have the most out of the crystals, and if you do, then you win. That's how the game works. So, the kid's playing the game, and then kind of like falls asleep, gets knocked out or whatever, wakes up on this island, and he has to play Batum in real life. So, da -da -da. exactly, kind of like uh, uh, Sword Out Online. So automatically, you're like, hmm, okay, interesting. I gotta say, suspense, suspense, suspense. If I can say anything, dun dun, that's exactly what yeah. you're getting. It's a lot of suspense there. Uh, also, um, the plot does kind of relate to, well, millennials now. I mean, because it's like, ah, gaming and what happens if I ever did have to play the game myself? How would I do? Blah, blah, blah yada, yada. You get to actually experience it. And uh, there's a lot that happens on this. Uh, this gets really dark. There's, uh, be prepared, there's rape. 
there's uh, just bullying, there's there's a lot of everything that's pretty dark that's happening with the world happens there. There's a level of like kind of slightly racism, classism things that happen there. It's it's like wow, there's a lot. But there's also a lot of action. Oh. And I do love it. I do love it. The only problem that I had with it is that there's no second season. It ended kind of abruptly, and uh, they kind of leave us with a cliffhanger. It's like, you know, like a, a dangling plot, but it's just a dangling dick. Yes. You know anime does that all the time, right? Yes! Because they want you to go read the original! Ronda, which is always the better! They, so, so true. So Batum is still going on, and it's absolutely epic. Yes. Now, uh, the, the thing that Daryl was kept talking about, he was talking about something about Real Account, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then it just popped into my head. They told me about it before. Basically, Real Account, it's like, and he wrote it on there too. Okay. It's like sort of online, okay. but with social media. And when the person dies, they're following dies. They're following like that. Oh! Yeah. That sounds pretty intense. Now, sort of really? online, if you don't know about it, of course, it's a, it's VRV, I mean, uh, virtual reality yep. is a big thing now. And this is the first biggest fully integrated yeah, virtual run, reality they, game they that you can get into. You neuro, neuro rig or whatever. And it's, you completely oh. dive in. Yes. And uh, uh, this on launch day, people get trapped in there and um, they, they have to fight for their lives. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Yep. And that's pretty much Star on the Line. If you haven't watched it, just do it. It's the best one. I don't even have to go into it. Now, that, like Batum, like I said, it's like Sword Art Online and Gaunts. Yeah. And Gaunts is kind of the same idea where it's um, people died. They get put mm -hmm. into this room. And now this ball is making them go fight monsters and aliens yeah. for their lives. And every time they kill an alien, they get points. If they reach 100 points, they survive. That's it. Now... Again, these, the, these, this one is just play the video game, win. That's how you survive. Now, this is the thing, though. This uh, also came from the production house that brought us uh, Black Lagoon and, uh, well, Death Note. That, that's right, if you guys know already, Madhouse. So Madhouse pretty much made this. And with it, uh, the thing is, I got to say, the, the art is cool. Um, like I said, the action is great. Uh, they're kind of creative in the way they use uh, just, because all you can use is these bombs. And to pretty much kill people, and they find creative ways of doing it. Uh -huh. Bombs that incinerate people, bombs that just kind of blow up pieces and everything like that. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. The only thing that I wish they did a lot more of was exposition and backstory. They had one whole episode that was like, what is, is it called an OTA? When it's like an origin kind of thing, or what is it called? Where it, it felt like there was one whole episode where they gave us backstory and origin of this one character, mm -hmm. where they could have actually given us for so many others, and they just focused on this one guy for it. And it was like, yeah, he was important, but we could have shortened that down and really gave us a breakdown for a lot of the other supporting character and cast. Now, um, with it, there was a uh, voice acting from a lot of people that we are already familiar with, so that was pretty cool. Um, and congratulations, Madhouse, for doing that. But I just. There was so much more that was left out, and yeah, you said it's a basic anime thing that they do. Yeah, they fuck us because because plus they can't put all of it in there, but yeah. All right, so uh, you have from what I see on your nose, you have one more to talk about, right? Uh, yeah. I now have, uh, before because we're running a little short on time though, uh -huh. I do want to let you to talk about that one because that's one of my favorites okay. too. I have two that I uh, gotta talk to. You about. Yes. Okay. Now we're talking about survival, and honestly, the best survival. Anything, movie, game, anime, anything. The best survival you can possibly want to jump into is a zombie apocalypse. All right. And one of the best anime I've ever seen that involves zombies is High School of the Dead. Yes. Have you seen High School of the Dead? Okay. Have All you right. seen High School of the ahead. Dead? Have you Go seen ahead. High School of the Dead? Go ahead. Boobies. Go ahead. Oh, that's so good. I was going to say. All right. So. Zombie boobies? <laughs> no. No? Just, no. Just regular just boobies? Kick, just kick ass boobies that defy gravity. As Daryl would say. Fan service. That's right, Daryl. You're right. Fan that, service. Yeah, it has fan service, but, but it's so <laughs> epic. So, of course, started with the manga. Okay. Uh, anime gets, gets released. It's amazing. It's uh, kids in high school, mm -hmm. middle of a zombie outbreak. Now, the thing is, I've noticed that a lot of stories usually happen after the outbreak. Yeah, yeah. Or in, And then they talk about, oh, this is what happened in the outbreak. No, this one straight up starts during the outbreak. They're and they're, they're they're talking about it. They're they're in the rooftops. Main character fighting with friend, and then, boom, zombie outbreak right there at that moment. So now they're trying to survive. They make their way out of the school. Uh, there's zombies everywhere. They're they're like I, these are zombies. It's like mm. they, this 
doesn't make any sense, but they're zombies. We got to survive now. So all, right. all these high schools get the you know, high school kids. They're kind of all know each other. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't hang out with each other, but they know each other. You know, you have your jock, you have uh, the smartest girl in class, you have the girl that the main characters always had a crush on, and uh, you, you even have the the school nurse. Ooh. And oh yeah, the school nurse. Great. Yeah, like, yeah. But but nothing beats the not, nothing beats no, no she blonde. Mm -hmm. But nothing beats my favorite, which is uh, the the class president. Oh, she's uh, she's really? amazing. She she's she's a fucking samurai. Oh no way! She's a samurai, because she, she's she's the head. Of, she's she's the head of the kendo class. So oh. as soon as as soon as the outbreak starts, she busts out her wooden sword and just starts cracking heads. Okay. Didn't even like like she's been in this zombie apocalypse forever, and it's epic. Like the fighting, the killing the zombies. The girls are attractive, and like and then there's the the booby scene, which is you just it, it's just blew up all over the internet. Mm. It's like it's it's great. It's action packed and it's the best. But the sad part is that after the tsunami that hit Japan, mm -hmm. the the artist was involved in there and like he got hurt. From what I heard, it went into oh, hiatus geez. after that. It went into hiatus. Two years later, they released another chapter and I cried and I was like, oh my god, is he finally back? Right after the chapter, went back in hiatus. And like the anime, it made so much, uh, and like they, people want it to come back, and just I, it's just up to the, the artist, it's the act, the, the mm -hmm. writer. He's he's I don't know if he's done. All I hear is it's hiatus. It, it's depressing. But I just go the dead is amazing. Uh, no, and my la one, more. one more to talk about. This one I mentioned to you last. Time. Okay. All right. Now um, you remember the story that I uh, this one never made it into anime. A lot of people. Petition for it to be an anime, uh, but it was read? the most amazing manga I've read. Um, you remember the the one I told you that it's kind of a combination of like Jurassic Park and Lost. Yes, yes. So there's one called Cage of Eden. It's a manga. Uh, it starts off just like Lost. It's uh, of course it's like a a small class uh, doing a field trip mm -hmm. overseas. Uh, they're on a plane going home. Okay. And as they're going home, there's uh, airplane troubles, and this weird fucking ghost giant bird busts the plane up. And it's weird, because like, all you see is like the beak go into the plane, and like, it looked like it was biting into the plane, but it wasn't biting anything. And so the main character blacks out, and then just next moment, he wakes up in the middle of the forest. And uh, okay, so All right. so so the plane broke apart. Uh, people scattered away from the plane. Uh, he was trying to find uh, his friend that he's known for a long time, and different people, and they start trying to survive. It turns into just like Lost, and it's twi and it's it's all about survival too, because uh, eventually they see pull, like uh, they see like weird animals that they only see during. Now it's not the Jurassic period. It's like one that's a little bit. Younger, Mesozoic, might be Mesozoic, but they start seeing all these like saber tooth tiger, like the saber tooth tiger period. Oh, okay, okay. So, right. so like they start seeing these different animals that shouldn't even be though that should have been extinct, and then people are getting sick because it's 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 the jungle, and like it's it's all small survival. They tell you this is how you start fires, this is how you kind of make a. Like it, it gets oh insane. God, got, like, it's lost, like the most intense. You got lost Lord of the Flies. Yes, and, there you, you go, know, Lord of Flies too. You got all this. And yes, fuck. It's a combination of lost. Wait, so and, why? And was, okay, this sounds so good. Why is it still just a manga, and why hasn't anyone tried to adapt it, or is it too much to adapt, and they're afraid? I don't think so. Usually, most of the times when that happens. It's there's a strong demand from fans, but usually it comes down to like production. It's like and mm -hmm. also the people who own the rights, the publishing companies. Mm -hmm. They usually say no, or even sometimes even the writer specifically says, "I don't want my thing to be like oh, like." Yeah, you're gonna for example, it. for example, uh, there's a manga called Yotsubato, mm -hmm. and it's like one of the most Ooh. cutest on, slice of life say it again. manga. Uh, Yotsubato. Mm -hmm. I just love it. It's, it chills. It's, Ernie says things and it's just like, oh my god, please it, say more. It has a big <laughs> cult following. Have you ever seen the fucking uh, people who are like, or the little characters where it's like a box okay. and like it's an Amazon box and it has like a head and like it's like the little triangle faces? Oh yeah, what they, is call, that? they call they uh, call Damboro. 
that character came from that manga. Really? It has a big cult following, and a lot of people love it. It's cute. It chapters release like every two months, but it's so heartwarming and like it it's, doesn't have a real story. It's just about this cute, adorable little girl living with her single dad. It's it's amazing. Slice of the life. thing is, it's the best slice of life I've ever read. Oh. And the problem is now everybody demanded it. They're like, "You're selling merchandise. Right? This is hot. Please make an anime." Mm -hmm. And he specifically said, I never want my work to be made into an anime. That would kill my work. Specifically well, you know said. what you're doing? You're killing me because I'm not a reader anymore. I've you tried should. to move away it's from reading so much and better. just like become like so everyone else and like only they go, books on audio. And so Yotsuba is the name of the girl, but Yotsubato is the name of the manga. Oh. Yeah. Fine. I'm going to have to read again. Try to say it. All right. I, can, I guess I can do that. Uh, later, Dark. Um, thanks, Derek. It was great. Uh, also, uh, once again, Derek already showed uh, Super Chat. Super Chat's a great tool that you guys get to use. You'll see the chat goes quick, and we are talking fast, a mile a minute. Sometimes we're talking so fast that we can't even get to pay attention to what we're saying. It's hard to read what you guys are saying. So, if you use that Super Chat, it pops up on our screen and makes us pay attention. And also, when you use Super Chat, you help to support us. So this way, we can give you great stuff like we're doing right now and make it even better. All right. So let's talk so about sure our last anime before we have to wrap this up last because one, we, we have to quick. start getting ready for exactly. Watch Tower. I'm gonna mm. make this really quick. Dead, Dead Man, Man Wonderland. Wonderland. Okay. Ooh, it's so, so amazing. Pretty Good much. God. Oh. Pretty much main character. Ernie's sitting inside of a classroom. All of a sudden, while he's sitting inside a classroom, he looks out the window and there's what this the guy that, that floats up. And this guy floats up and staring at him. Do you guys see this? Nobody else is seeing it. Everybody else is sitting there writing and doing everything, trying to be good kids. And then all of a sudden. Boom! Everyone's dead. Everyone's murdered inside of that room, except for the one kid, Ernie. Ernie, and we're trying to figure out, wait, who is this guy floating around? Why is he killing everyone? And why did he just leave Ernie alive just and, to be able to be okay? And swimming in limbs and blood. Yes. So, people come in and they're like, well, okay, there's this mass killing and mass killings are happening. And you're the only one that's alive. Clearly, you did it. So, they're accusing him and they're going to go ahead and send him to jail. Did you guys see the busted window? There Sorry. was somebody floating outside the window. I'm Sorry, not crazy. Buddy. Somebody's flying out there. Uh, I you're, think you're crazy. There's no cameras. There's no cameras. I don't but know how am I supposed to kill all these people? Well, you, you did it clearly because you're the only one that's alive, buddy. I'm sorry. So oh, we're sending you to jail. And you know what? We're not going to send you to just a regular jail. We're going to send you to this like kind of killer island where what? there's a bunch of other kids that are just as bad as you that came around doing mass killings. So you're all going to go there on that island. Congratulations. Live there. And that's exactly what happens. Now, <laughs> the awesome part about this island is not a regular island. Oh, no. It's called Dead Man Wonderland for a reason. Yep. Because this is the first prison mm -hmm. that is integrated with a theme park. Yes. Where basically, this prison makes its own money by making its own prisoners work this carnal, like, like this theme park while regular people can come in and enjoy the rides and all these yeah. attractions and not worry about the prisoners trying to kill them because they are completely restrained and all this all this stuff uh and it's 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 fucked up but that's just not the actual story that's just the beginning of how he ends that's up there that's just the beginning <laughs> it turns out that this island's also not just a theme park and a prison it's a research facility yes and so our main character ends up getting uh powers Right? How did that happen? No idea. We just know that there's some red crystal that ends up jumping and fusing with his skin. And because of that, all of a sudden, he gets to use his blood as projectile it's weapons. Blood bending. Yes. Now, if, now, there's different people in this prison that also have this ability. Exactly. Randomly happened to a lot of different people. Some mm -hmm. of them actually got actually turned into that. Yep. But basically, every person has a different ability. In, but it all involves blood. Yes. So we have a person who, and of course, they have to hurt themselves. They need to break skin to lose, like loosen the blood. So you have somebody. Oh, there's somebody who. Sure. So there's somebody yeah, who like makes crazy. blades. Yes. With this blood, there's somebody who makes whips with their blood. Oh man. There. And then the main character's ability, he actually grabs his blood and turns it into a freaking Hadouken. Yeah. Now here's a problem though. His is the most fucked up one because. All these other people, that blood is still connected to them and they can still, you know, make it come back into their body. Ooh. He's actually throwing his blood away, so he ends up being anemic. He yep. only has a few shots in. Exactly. But his is one of the strongest. Yes. But only a limitation. He has yeah. a life bar. 
Yeah, there you go, pretty much. <laughs> so that that brings that whole thing, which you always get when it comes to any kind of hero, you have a clock. It's a ticking clock. Yep. So congratulations, you got that for exposition. Yep. So yep. it's just counting down, essentially. Yeah. But and, and, and let's throw something else on top of that. Here just it comes. The, it's messed up situation, <laughs> so thrown into prison, don't know why, somebody killed everybody, don't know who, and then uh, prison, I got powers, and on top of that, when he gets to the prison, mm. he meets this silver-haired girl that for some reason knows him, and has always known him, yeah. and his best friends, and is excited to see him, knows his name and everything, and he has no clue who this girl is. And this girl follows him around, she's an enigma, she's not really a prisoner. No, But no. she's on the island. Yes. And she has the most craziest costume on. Like, he she, thought he originally uh, thought that he, she was part of the attractions, but no, she's she just wanders around. Yeah. So you're trying to figure out exactly who she is. Won't ruin that for you. Won't ruin it for you. No. Um, won't even ruin what she is or, or how any other story. Any, yeah. This is done. Nope. We're, we're not telling nope. you anymore because the story gets so more entwined. And uh, the thing is that anime, and I know I haven't watched it, but it ended so soon because the manga. Keeps going, and it gets more intense. But at the best moment of the show, the story arc was really just like it was a story arc that there's, was so good. There's and been they talks. It. There's been talks about uh, making a season two. People want a season two. Well, and it's, the ending it's, was shit. It, I'm sorry, but there has been talks and there's been rumors that there might be a season two. I don't know if there's been any confirmation yet. There were there were plot points. But it's that intense. Were so intricate. And it's they awesome. Never. Gave us a proper explanation for stuff. Yeah. Oh God! So, so I'm like just I said, upset with it. So like I said, this now the reason why this is a survival because remember, survival. This is a prison, and these people with powers, this prison is forcing them. Yep. To do underground cage fights with each other. Oh man, so good. There's blood. There's gore. There's death matches. Oh. And they got. To, <laughs> they have to kill another person. Yeah, it, it's it's underground death match. That's where the survival kicks. That's in. it. Because this kid who has the most messed up power has to fight all these other people who have been there longer than him. Yep. Some of them are adults. Not all of them are teenagers. Like most of them are adults, older, and in like in. He doesn't know who they, who to trust either. No. Because remember, this is a prison. People are there for a reason. He's probably the only innocent person there. Yeah. And. That's not really short. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. Uh, so much. Also, it's made by the uh, same production house that did uh, Samurai Shampoo. Oh, yeah. Uh, you this, can see uh, it in the art uh, style. Uh, I think Man Globe or something like that it's called. <laughs> Man Globe. Uh, Man Globe. Man Globe. Man Globe. I don't know. Whatever. Not Man Globe. Uh, yeah, Man Globe. Uh, but it's made by the same uh, production house that did Samurai Shampoo. <laughs> and it's, the art is just as good uh the dubbing on it was pretty well pretty good there are moments where there are characters that you hate and the thing is you hate them for their acting not for who they are and i love it um that is about it that is about it i mean we, we, we were running we, to, we the did, we, we we to the wire we we did we we did good but we had so much to talk about because we did this like that's it's gotta be the most awesome i'm like, telling you man I'm and murder you. and blood and death. Oh. It's like survival ones are like have to be one of my favorites. Definitely, and that makes a slice of life. Guilty guys, of pleasure. We want to know what your favorite survival ones survival. were in the comments. When we're done, make sure you go ahead and comment and tell us what your favorite survival animes are. And they don't have to be the same ones like we did. They can be completely different ones. Tell us anything. Please. Tell us if you were in sword art, what class would you pick? Yeah. What, what kind of person would you be? A swordsman? Would you be a spearman? I mean, oh my god. Tell us that. Tell us what you would do in one, any of these survival movies. Honestly, it's, it's what we want to know. Yeah. It's definitely what we want to know. Share with us. Keep the conversation going. Like I said, after we're done, go ahead and start commenting on the video and um, make sure to watch more videos that we do. Yeah. Because we'll be going on. What is our next topic? What are we going to do next week? Do we know? I don't know. I've been kind of letting you pick these because oh, I've been shit, writing on these. Know. It's been kind of fun. You gave me a list. I did, right? I did. I did. I did. I did. I said like fantasy or something else. I don't know. Yeah. I did give you a list. Anime. Nope. We already did those. Oh, we Not doing not I doing. asked the chat. No, they did so, the Slice of Life, you guys did already. We already did Slice of Life. They did Slice of Life. And we already uh, did girl, Magical Girl anime. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's not an anime. <laughs> not doing Sailor Moon. <laughs> All she wants us to talk about is Sailor Moon. I'm not talking about Sailor Moon. Well, if we did, then Sarah would have to be on the show. Dang, where's your damn thing? Oh, yeah, there you go. So, what you tell me what you said. I don't know. It's, a, it's so weird. So, uh, psychological? Ooh. There's Ooh. fighting. Oh, my God, let's do fighting. Fighting? Yes. Okay. Yes. Fighting. We're going to do fighting. 
fighting is our next martial one. arts fighting yes okay hardcore we're gonna talk awesome. about we're gonna pick some and it's gonna be from the genre of just a fighting kind of anime and so i got some to tell you guys about oh wow. so that's gonna be next week yes. and it's gonna be good make sure you guys tune in just like this conversation was great we're looking to have a whole lot more but we need you guys to make sure you participate when you're here in the chat go ahead and talk and share the video with as many people as possible so you guys can keep talking about anime trust me it's a great conversation that needs to be had so, anything else you want to tell people? Like Make sure you <laughs> stick around because in 26 probably. minutes is the season right. premiere. 26 minutes? No, oh, we'll probably just jump in. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Stick around because I do need to do a few more little preps. But yes, it, right after this, stick around on the channel because we're going to have the season premiere of The Watchtower. Oh, it's a DC show. It's, Our, it's DC so show. good. We're gonna be I love it. Sarah's in the background being loud. Yes, that's, it. that's right. So it's it's basically Flashpoint with a whole new layout. Oh, a whole new, man. Now we're gonna hit you with Supergirl. We're gonna hit you with Arrow. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. Still and of course, Flash. Flash is probably gonna be our main topic. Exactly. And also, when the <laughs> Justice League movie comes out, oh, we're gonna turn. I'm gonna talk, trash oh, talk about it. I will be the one protecting you while he trash talks. No, because he's but probably gonna it? join me. It's gonna yeah, be that's right. It's sure. gonna be. Oh, but that's something for something else that we'll talk about later. Make sure you guys tune in. Check us out watch where can people find you Randy? social media where can they find you okay because I was gonna journey, say I'm not journey. giving you my address no <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you my uh, you can find me on the underscore journey on twitch on YouTube on Facebook Instagram Twitter all the the J-E-R and I what if I want to talk about movies where can I find you there oh shit I got the other two channels you can hit me up on movie melee which we cover a lot of different movies we do countdowns we do uh oh critic versus critic which is pretty awesome oh, one talks it. shit while the other one defends the movie and sometimes I don't pick the role <laughs> awesome and we might do one for Blade Runner okay Ooh, yeah, yeah. Nice. and then we have box tv which we have a really awesome Halloween special one coming up Ooh. we wrote the script we still need to shoot it Okay, see, there you go. And for me, you can just find me uh, Battlestar Galactica. That's where I am on social media. Um, if you can't find me there, go ahead and look for me on Twitter at uh, that hashtag BSG. And that's it for us. It's been great. We love talking to you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And the only reason you're subscribing is so you can keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. culture. Good night, guys. Deuces.